Hey team, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're gonna look at CSV files. Now, CSV files have been around since 72. I mean, 1972. And guess what? They're still used quite a bit. Loading data, exporting data from databases, used all the time. Loading data into models, used all the time. So this is something you need to know. Let's do this. CSV, comma, separated values. Notice between each of the values, there's a comma. On line four, even when we have a comma in the string, we put quotes around it to make it look like one field, then put a comma after it. Let's look at our first example. We say with, open a file name, read for text, assign it to F, and then we're gonna have our iterator called reader, Notice that we import CSV so line six can work, and then I will loop over that iterator and print out a row. The rows will look like list. Let us look at the input. The input file, let's turn on line numbers. On line one is the name of the column. These are what we call the column headers, and P year is this first value, P month, is the second and terms in month is the last. That is obvious. So this is our input. We will loop through that input and then print out each row as a list. Let's see what the output would look like. Notice after we get done running the program, notice the values are in list notation. In this example, I saved this comma delimited file from Microsoft Excel and notice that we have one line of interest, line three, where it says quotation mark bank comma two. Microsoft kicked out the values that look like this, which is excellent. We are now gonna use import CSV. Notice when we say CSV reader F and then dialect equals Excel, all the little things that Excel kicks out, this dialect will say, I know to look for them. You and I as programmers don't need to do all those isms. And then I will print out the output. Let's see what that looks like. Notice the output is perfect. We have bank comma two, it did it correctly. And this is the output of our second run. Notice in our next example, we're changing the delimiter from a comma to a tilde. And then the quote from a single quote to a caret symbol. Notice here in our input file, I've got the change from comma to tilde. And then notice around the one column that had a comma in the middle, it's like a bank comma two. We have put these caret symbols around there to simulate being quotes. Let's run this and check out our output. Notice the program is finished and notice we've got perfect data. We have our column headers followed by data. Notice bank comma two was preserved. Good run. In our first example, we use CSV reader. Now we're using CSV dictionary reader. And notice they're identical except for that one line, four and nine are just small differences. Let's see the output of this. Notice that we have a dictionary, key value, key value, and that's a dictionary reader. Let us compare these two statements. Notice we're using the same file, and then on line four, I'm saying CSV reader. This is my iterator. The iterator on line 14 is CSV dictionary reader. Now notice here, when I'm doing an accessor inside of this top one, I do it by index. So sub zero gives me the first column, sub one the second. Now in dictionary reader, notice that I'm getting it by name, by the key value. So dictionaries are key value, so this is the key. Now let's look at the output. Now when I'm on the top one, I'm doing it by list, notice one is available to me. That is the name of the columns. And then I get the values. When I'm doing the dictionary, notice that one is skipped. However, you know we're using it because down here on line 17, P year and P month are column names. In example one here, notice I'm using a reader. That means my output will be a list. On line six, notice I'm using next. Next, what it does is it increments the iterator. Line 
six is just like line nine. This also increments the iterator. So notice when I come down to line six, notice I got the data and look at that, it incremented my line. My line is now set to one. And as soon as I get on line nine and I execute this, watch it, it will increment my iterator, ready? Now look at that, see line is two. So now you understand what next does and you understand what this four does. And I'll meet you on line 22. The output is quite simple. I have the fields and then I have a list of my data as rows two, three, four, and five. Let's continue. In this example, you can see I print out a line number before I do next. This should be zero. But when I do this next, it will increment by two. And that's why you have to think about this for a moment. When we're doing the dictionary, we're talking about key value. If I only read the first line, the list of fields, then that's the key. Where's the value? Well, the value is on the next line. So that is why you'll see on line 30, it will increment to two after we do line 29. Let's do this, ready? So it's at zero. I'm gonna do the, the incrementer. And notice now my line is set to two. So now we know, look at this, key value, key value. It had to read two lines, perfect. Now, once I get inside of my, my loop, we know now for row in the D reader, we know that this is my incrementer. So when I do this right here, it should toggle to three. So let's look at that. Notice now we're at three. It keeps reusing my list of fields, but I just keep walking and I'll meet you on line 46. Let's look at the output. Notice the first row inside of my data got consumed before it got into the loop. And then we have three, four, five. So that's something to think about when you're using the dictionary. Our last example, we're just using the dictionary reader and notice I'm not trying to read the first line, but as soon as I execute line 53, the line number should go to two. That means we picked up our row definition, you know, the name of the columns and the first row. Let's do that, F10. And notice now my line is set to two. So now row has key value, key value, key value. Perfect. And I'll meet you on line 61. I'll bring over and let's look at the data. So notice two, three, four, and five. Two on the first one because I had to go pick up the name of the columns. And there you have it. And there you have it, team. Comma delimited file, being able to read them. Very, very important skill to have. Thank you for supporting my channel, subscribing, liking, and leaving comments. I appreciate it. I'll see you back in my next video.